you know, maybe ten choices, five choices, it really doesn't matter, but you'd have the ability to vote for a first, second, third, fourth, fifth, based on your priority, based on which guy you'd want to win. So if if your guy A only ends up with 40,000 votes, those votes would be released and they would go to this person's second choice. And so the second choice you might have voted for was a guy who already has 150,000 votes. So your vote wouldn't go to him because he's already got enough to be part of the body. He's already been elected. And so maybe then go to your third choice. And so your third choice, you know, maybe he will be elected. Or maybe he won't and you'll have to use the fourth choice. But, you know, regardless, it would that's basically the system. It would just, everything would percolate up until you created these 50 or 60 or 70 people that would be called the legislature who all earned every one of their votes, who, who earned their seat in that house by gaining the affirmative votes of all the people and there would be no such thing as somebody who you know lost the election so to speak there'd be no losing the election every individual could be essentially guaranteed to win the election because they would be not voting against each other they wouldn't be it wouldn't be a contest it would be a vote for a representative and they could be assured that their vote would go to this one of these people that they affirmatively wanted to be in office and that that you your vote would actually go to a person and their their, their constituency would be these people who voted for them and uh, uh, you know that that to me is so much better to you know to have this this real representation I want a person in, in who's going to speak my mind, going to speak my issues, and going to do it passionately and, and, and have it mean something. He's not going to be owned by a party. He's going to be owned by the 100,000 people, or whatever the number is, who voted for him. He's not going to get elected again, you know, if he doesn't, you know, do what they've required him to do. He's not going to be able to get elected merely because he's running against some weaker candidate. He's going to have to earn all those votes again the next time. And, uh, you know, by, by having this system where, where you can vote choices, you know, your first choice, second choice, third choice, it just completely wipes out the two-party system. We're not locked to these Democrats and these Republicans anymore because you could vote for a third-party candidate or an obscure candidate, and you have, you're not going to lose your vote. You're, you won't be throwing it away. And worse, you won't be helping indirectly uh, a candidate that's abhorrent to you. I mean, think of the people you know, in the, the first George Bush election, who voted for Ralph Nader. I mean, you know, 90% of those people, you know, didn't want George Bush to be president. And yet that's what they're indirectly, that's what voting for George, for, for Ralph Nader implicated. That's what they, they basically voted for George Bush by voting for Ralph Nader, as much as that doesn't make any sense. I mean, why should we have a system that broken? Why should we have a democracy that unfinished? that immature you know that's almost silly you know there's no reason for people to to sabotage their own interests by voting their own interests uh, you know and, and uh, you know this, this is you know this is just so so basic to 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 our humanity to everything we're about is to have you know representation is a huge thing I mean to be able to you know, I want to be able to turn on C-SPAN. I want to see my guy get up on the floor and talk about what I care about. I, I, you know, right now I'm represented by a guy who's the exact antithesis of everything I believe in. I mean, he's calling me his constituent. He's saying he represents me. And he's, you know, it, the contrast couldn't be any, you know, the, the, the ocean of distance between us philosophically couldn't be deeper and 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 broader i mean it just and so what what what's how should i feel about that how should anybody feel about their democracy when they see themselves being represented by somebody who is you know by their standards the antichrist the the, the, the you know the exact opposite of themselves uh, i mean that's that's what is that that why you know why am i even having this conversation i mean it seems incredible that i have to you know have this conversation that this hasn't been done i mean there are some people working for um you know the idea of an instant runoff election which is basically the idea of the transferable vote system i was talking about but then they, they, they don't connect that to the fact that you have to get rid of the 
geographic districts. You have to get rid of the the lousy two-party choice for that to mean anything, or even three-party choice. I mean, it's got it's got to be more open, um, you know, because the, you have to have all the you have to have the ability for anybody to win, uh, and you know, but the, you know, so there are some people working for something better, but it just doesn't gain any momentum. I mean. You know, the average person just doesn't pay any attention, and the media doesn't help. I mean, it certainly doesn't promote the idea. Uh, but this is something, you know, it's so doable. With technology now, we can turn elections into something that really means something. We can have, you know, we can have citizen, you know, proposed uh, propositions on the ballot. We can have, you know, and we can have full choice. And, and you know, the only argument against it by some people is that oh well you know there's there's too much conflict you know this, you can't have this diversity in the in the congress and in the senate and in the legislatures you know because oh, it's just conflict conflict is bad you know they they want somebody they want this this body that's capable of all this compromise and and to constantly sell out and that's really what we've had and that's why we have all this waste and all this nonsense is because the real the real majority, the you know, the real people, you know, who are this diverse. I mean, that's the real. The real majority is a bunch of people who don't agree with each other on everything, you know, and they do have very different perspectives on individual issues, and all that has to be represented. When you just cut it into some kind of two-party compromise system, then you're not getting you're not getting a, the true. That that's not we the people running the government.